So, welcome back, and I could say I've cleaned these parts, but I actually haven't, but they're so clean already that you wouldn't know. So, put all these aside, and I'll just start on the plates. And I'm not going to show the whole cleaning process, because... Really? Do you want to see that? No, you don't. But what I do is... You can't really see, it's already just so clean, isn't it? I'm going to clean it anyway. I'm going to clean the dirty parts, how about that? You get isopropyl alcohol on a little cotton swab. And... You just do this, swab it, and let it dry for about 20 seconds. Uh, also do the other one. These swabs go a long way, actually. Do at least two sides of a plate with one, with one end. And it is actually getting dirtier, so maybe it is, maybe it is for a good reason. But um, after it's settled down for a bit, then you wipe it off with a dry cloth. You rub it off rather, not wipe it. It requires a bit of force. Pivot holes are especially important. And the balance um, cups as well. So these are jeweled. I hope this doesn't dissolve jewels. It won't do, will it? They're really hard. Uh... Okay. What else do I need? Yeah, these are already spotless, and I've got no idea why it wasn't working properly. I tell you what I'll do, as I'll do a bit of off-camera testing for a bit. So I'll finish cleaning this off-camera, then I'll report back to you. I'll do a test reassembly. Okay, so I've noticed a few interesting things. <coughs> I've cleaned the bits, and oops, I've noticed a few things. First of all, I didn't clean these balls, I may as well. I think they need a polish more than anything else, actually. Uh, first of all... The end of the mainspring has a date code in it. There it is. 6712, so 12, so this is from December 67, I presume. Secondly, there is a arbor notch in one of the pillars for some reason. And I think that is for stopping the spring sliding up on the thing like that, which is a really clever idea. Uh, because it just they just use the same machine again, the one that they use for putting the hooks in the middle of the arbors. They just used it for that, so that's pretty clever. I think Jungens did that as well, actually. So they probably took some inspiration from the Germans, if not side-by-side -side parallel evolution, whatever it's called. You know, they came with the same thing for some reason, because it was just, you know, like everything evolves into a crab, you know what I mean? Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, I think I found the problem. Can you see it? Ah, there it is. One of the little lantern pinion pinion pins is bent. I think that is from a bad spring let go. That I don't think that happened. That, I don't think that was because of me. I think this must have happened in the past because that's why it wasn't working. And the proper way to go about this would be to replace the um, lantern pin, but. I do not, for the life of me, know how to get these apart without driving the bushes apart, and then I can't get them. Oh, can I do that? Let's try this. For the first time ever, I'm going to be driving a uh, spring wheel apart like this. So can we... I don't want to bend the spring too much. Yeah, this is going to require bending the spring down. Now I can always bend it back up again, can't I? It's better than bending it out of place. So, if I do that, so now I've got my screwdriver under that bush, bushing, over there, like that, and then I can lift it up, hopefully, and that can separate the um, wheel apart. Oh, it's not easy though. Yeah, the screwdriver's not the best tool for this. Um, how about... Two two pairs of pliers is going to make a mess. Uh, how about 
one pair. No, it's not going to fit under there, is it? That's not going to fit under there. Uh, how about some? I've still got them. Somewhere I have some uh, wire cutters. Uh, don't know where they are though. They're not in my bit. Okay, forget about that. Uh, if I can't find something immediately, I believe that's the universe telling me that I'm not supposed to be using that tool. And it seems to work so far. So maybe this is the best way to just separate them like this. Okay, if I hold this here, I know it's going to scratch everything up and it's going to be mad, but this is an abnormal procedure here. And I would, I'd rather have a scratched up looking bit of brass than a non-working clock. So I'll pull that there. It's already a bit loose because I can just rebend the spring afterwards. So there's no turning back. Right, can I bend? Can I twist this first of all? How stiff is it? Right, it is. Oh, not too stiff not to be twisted. If I twist and rock and pull at the same time, does this loosen that? Does this loosen it up at all? Yes, it is slightly. It's a bit looser than it was. Okay, I'll just put this here to hold it in, and then can I... Oh, yeah, this has made it a bit looser. Ah, uh, we're doing it. We know it. We've got the fang in our soul to show it. Oh, if you know what that's from, I'll be very impressed. Oh. Look at that. We did it, um, somehow. So, we've got this wheel apart. We can take this off. We can take this off. And hopefully this exposes the lantern pins, does it? Yes, it does. That's great. How do we get them out, though? If it's bent, we can't get them out. Uh, can we just do that? No, I can't do that. Can we take a straight one out? Oh yeah, they're just held, okay, they're literally just held in with gravity, basically. So, can we, can we take this out? How do we take it out? Because it's bent, we can't take it out. Uh, this is annoying, isn't it? Well, at least we got to this stage. So, where are my tweezers? Oh, there they are. Maybe I'll have to use tweezers to pluck it out. I don't know. Bit annoying, isn't it? Trying to lose any of these good pins whilst I'm at it. I think I might have another wheel to replace it with. Another pinion. Hmm. Not looking easy. Can I cut it? Well, I ideally want to re-straighten it, don't I? Uh, how did it even get bent in the first place is a question. Can I take this top part of this off? No, I doubt it. No, it's all one piece. Uh, well, these pins come out like that. Maybe I'll get better grip if I can take the ones next to it out. Like this, because it's pretty easy to put back in again. Look at that. Pin there. Uh, pin there. This is. I have not done this before, pinion surgery. Oh, where did that go? Oh yes, it would not be a video like this if something did not get lost. Be it one of the pins or not. Well, that's good, isn't it? It went somewhere and I've got no idea where it went. Ah, the joy of things. Well, if I can find one replacement pin, I can find two replacement pins. So let's carry on. So, we have our bent wheel surrounded with space now. So that's not bent wheel, bent pin. So if I just pull here. Now I've got space to put my, enough room to put my pliers around it. Can I just, I want to cut it out to be honest. Causing a bit of pain. I've got a cutter. Alright. 
there we go. We're cutting pins. I got it. Oh, is that it? Yeah, look. Okay, we got one half of it out. Maybe this was the only way to do it. Well, I hope this runs after this. This one out, and the other one fell out. Okay. So, I need to find replacement pins. Let's put this one good one back in, and we need to find two replacements. Alright. I don't think we can just use any old wire. I think it has to be pretty hard. So what do I have that's hard and steel? Let's look in my parts box. Or something which might have a pinion of the same size. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks promising. However, they're held in, they're riveted in, so I can't get them out. Uh, yeah, well, fancy that the Chinese actually made a more serviceable movement than the rest. My respect for their clock industry has really gone up. Ooh, that's an idea. Instead of um, pinion pins, what I could use is... Little pivots. All right. Do I have a broken pallet? Uh, all I want is just a hardened little rod, really, isn't it? Oh, what's this? I don't know what this is, but it looks perfect. All right, but I don't know what this is from. Uh, I think it's hardened. Flexible, but it's hardened. Maybe that's not the best idea. Uh, oh, what is it? No, that's just a massive pin. Uh, don't know what half of this stuff is from, to be honest. How about a Westlock 66 pivot wire? Or even a lantern pinion part. Right, here we have an old escape wheel. Can we get those out? Are they the right size? Uh, I think they might. No, they're too thin. It's a bit, it's a bit harder, thicker one. Uh, the actual pivots themselves are probably about right, though. This is from Style 1. I don't really want to sacrifice that ah what's this ah I think we got it everyone right this is a 66 wheel made in Scotland probably and I think the yeah that is the right size look at that um that pivot there Okay, so, well, any Westcox fans are not going to like me, including myself, for doing this, but, ready for this? Bam. Right, that has murdered that. I have spares, though. I have plenty of spares. Uh, all right. Okay, we got that out. So hopefully this is the right size. I haven't sacrificed it for nothing and it's hardened enough, isn't it? Perfect. So, what a calamity. Because it's made out of pot metal. 
we'll pull the rest of this out. It's all right, I can just trim it, can't I? So how long does it need to be? Uh, let's take one of the other ones out so I can just check it. Let's see if it fits first. Oh yeah, that's the perfect um, diameter. So I think just about there, let's mark it out. Scratch it like that. No, so that's one. If I cut it along that line, we should be good. So hopefully I don't lose this little bit. There it is. Right, we have a little pivot pinion pin. That well, looks like a perfect fit to me. It's like a gold tooth, isn't it? And a little bit more. I'm not using that. Uh, I want to get a bit more of this metal away. Hopefully it's not got lead in it. Probably has. Oh well. We're all going to die, aren't we? Ugh. Oh, cut through the whole thing. But in there somewhere is solid gold. Now I hope this is worth it. Try to get this out somehow. Ah, look at that, perfect. A diamond in the rough. So let's get our thing be bob. Put it in there. Bit thick, bit too thick actually where I've cut it. Oh no. Uh, we need to lose about two millimeters. So if I just cut <clears throat> a tad a bit off the end. Hopefully that's about the right size. Pop it in there. Ah, look at that, it's about perfect. There we go. So, hopefully this serves us well. These two new little bits in there. <clears throat> I've also going to... Just bend this spring back a little bit because it's been distorted slightly, I assume. Very, very slightly bend it. Just to get its springiness back. Because this is important for the slip clutch in the um in the hands. If this is too loose, then the hands probably won't move when the clock runs. So look at that. Right, that's pretty bent. Um <clears throat> let's get rid of this now. Get back in my West Fox box so I can remember what on earth I did to that. Uh, right, we have our thing. So, I think this little washer went on there. This little piggy went to market. I went on there to keep all these pins in place. Now I've spent so much time replacing them. They look pretty good, to be honest. <clears throat> Let's hope they last long. So we've got our crossy washer. And our little bush thing. So I'm just going to drive this on with a hammer. Be on in a sec. So, <clears throat> my spare minute wheel from something else came in handy. I just popped that in there and just hammered the... Uh, no, I didn't. <clears throat> I popped that in there like that and then hammered that down. So it sort of compresses it together. And I think we should be good now. I think this is how it's supposed to be. I hope. Uh, yeah, I hope I haven't moved this one around or not. But uh, yeah, I think this one's the one that moved. And it's not too stiff that you can't turn the hands, but it's stiff enough not to do this. And just to please you, I'm just going to rotate this back to the cross position as it was. Because we can't be having unnecessary non-straightness. There we go. Oh, Why is that straight on one side but not on the other? That does not make sense. Okay, well, whatever happens, it's going to be fine. Right. Alcohol, alcohol called Pricepol over there. 
Uh, and we get these bits of dangerous don't breathe in metal over there. Put them in the bin. And sort of melt them down and make something out of them. No, probably not. So, time of the test reassembly. Finally. So let's put our spring of the main back on our what's the name. That is the main spring back on the great wheel on the arbor. Which thing did... Oh, look what I found. Ah, oh, how hilarious. The uh, pin that I lost. Well, it's a good spare. I'll put it in here and remember it's there. And then I'll forget. <coughs> so, put this spring on. Those black little lugs you need to keep the spring on one side of, otherwise you'll have a big catastrophe happening. Actually, you know I need to put this on first, don't I? This on first, and then our can and pinion, which is hopefully not just broken off. Like that, didn't it? Uh, oh no, wait, we have to do our thing first, don't we? So let's put a bit of oil in there before it... Because I don't think I can oil it after that. Uh, put a bit of oil in there. Tiny bit of oil. There we go, that should be enough. Because that's where the pivot goes of this very long second hand one. And it goes poking at the end there. And oil it from the front as well afterwards. Uh... Oh yeah, this one, oil these afterwards. Right, no, that, yeah, that works, because there's one, is there an intermediate one in there? Yeah, there is, it's there. Okay, don't worry, Whew, those, aren't, those aren't supposed to mesh. We have this big old jangler. And I think, let's just put one more in there and then we'll test, re test it. Just to see if the power gets to the end properly. Oh. And the escape wheel as well, why not? You know what? Let's just do the whole lot. Let's just, there's only one extra piece. Put the pallet in. Oh, that's well, upside down. How absolutely hilarious was that? Okay, make sure you don't get the pins locked inside the actual escape wheel with the holes in it, because that's not good. Good time to check now. Have you done it? Oh. Okay. Well, there aren't as many pivots as an alarm clock, which is nice. Yeah, I think this is the first time only I'll have done on this channel for a very long time. But then I... No, it's not. I've just done that one, haven't I? I've just done the Metamech. What on earth am I talking about? Why is this not going in there? Do we have a bent pivot on our hands? I hope not. Oh, it's the spring. All right, that's fine. That pesky spring... And now it is not going in the right thing. Oh. I do like movements with big cut cut out plates like this, skeletonized plates, but um sometimes they do be they they do be a pain when uh you're trying to put stuff in and it just pokes through the hole and, and you have to undo it again to get it back in the right place. Oh the joy. Move the stars. Okay, so put this back in the what's the name? Oh, it's a pain, isn't it? Nothing's going in. Oh, all right. Back to square one. Things fell out. I'm like, oh no. Okay, this is not enjoying my presence right now. Uh, maybe we should not start with the thing all the way over there. Okay, so I did I did stretch out the spring a bit like I usually do, so maybe that didn't help much. Oh, even that's coming out. Okay, what great fun. And I'll tell you what, after this experience, I think I quite like Chinese clocks now. 
I never hated them, I just thought they were bad. But now, I've seen what they were like before they went bad. And now I think, well, you know what? The Western stuff did the same. West clocks and Smiths just turned to aluminium, as did everyone else. So did the Chinese, because they had to. So that's fair enough. But when they were good, they were pretty good. So, let's put this on. Right there. Aha! Uh -huh. Bear should have done that then. I usually do that last because it's a pain, but um, with this one maybe you have to do it first. Who knows? These people did and they're not going to tell me. Yeah, you don't see many of these movements though, honestly. You don't see many of the uh, time-only Chinese ones. So when you do, grab it up, because it might just be the last one you ever see. Because you'll be killed. All right. Oh, the pesky pivots. They're always the faff. Big faff. Right. Why is this not behaving? Movement's behaving badly. Ah, that's what it is. Oh, these two, they're like an evil like um, an evil duo, the escape wheel and the pallet. When one goes in, the other one goes out. I bet they think they're absolutely hilarious. Well, you know. Let's put this on to silence them forever. And that one. Uh, a bit of a long video, I'm afraid. There we go. Oh yes, all right. Not oh, that's in backwards. Okay. So this will be the near the end of this video because I need to go. All right. Let's socket them up, and hopefully it runs. Well, it doesn't. Not that it runs now, but it some power gets to the end of the train. If not, I have failed and I've wasted a perfectly good West Fox third wheel. <clears throat> or fourth wheel, I don't remember what it was. Third wheel, I think. Hey, maybe, maybe I should put an intro back on my videos. Remember that. Hopefully you don't. It's just <clears throat> I just don't edit videos at the moment. Because I just upload them straight from my phone onto YouTube without having to open it on media, Movie Maker or anything. If you really want to see an intro to these videos, then let me down, let me know, and I might even think about it. Because intros are good fun. Okay, that's a promising start. Does it do the thing, though? It does, that's amazing. Which piv which pivots is it on? Oh, it's not on our pivots right now, but it will be at some point. Pi oh, not pivots. Pins. So I'm going to go now, and this should stay in there, yeah. Plates are tiny bit bent, that's all. <clears throat> so, this weighs quite a bit actually. Yeah, it's a decent quality thing. Put that up there for now, just so you can see it. Da -da 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 -da. And that nail polish is for, what did I use that on? Oh, I used that on the hands of the um, Metamate, didn't I? So, we have a little movement. And next to another little movement. What is this one? This is that mysterious German one, isn't it? Right. Enfield bit of wood. Let's make a little scene. Oh, we've got another movement here. Oh, look at that. Got loads of stuff up here. Uh, oh, yeah. I also put a new movement in this glass clock. This is not the glass clock I serviced on camera. This is a different one. 
uh, which I never ha which never had a movement in it. I just put one movement in it, which is that one. But when I put this one in it, I had to put a different bezel on, which is not the original. So I thought, well, with this one, I can keep the original bezel. So I put this one on instead. It's more legible. Even though I prefer the style of the older one, this one can have its original bezel back and then be used on something which it will fit in, which is great. Oh, that helped me out. Thanks for watching.